Hey guys, Mama Gamers here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am beyond excited to present another guide on one of my favorite brands for you. We are talking about all of the Sizzly Paris lipsticks that are out there. We're gonna talk about them individually. We do have some dedicated videos, such as the most recent Sizzly video that you enjoyed quite a bit. You can check all of these out later, of course. Of all course, right. yes. But we also have a new addition to the family that I have never mentioned before. You guys really wanted me to talk about this bad girl, the Fito lipstick. So they're traditional lipstick and recently I've been shopping once more in Munich at the Maison Sizzly in Salvatore Street number no. 3. Hashtag not sponsored. A lot of you guys did ask me to do a dedicated video on these and I actually thought, you know what, we have all four of their formulas. Let's just do a guide. We did the similar thing with their powders. We actually did a similar video with Charlotte Tilbury powders too. So if Sizzle is not your speed, you can check out the Charlotte video of course too. I have to say, I feel like you deserve this. But today we're going to talk about all four of the Sizzle lipsticks. We're talking about both the lip twists, so the shiny one and the matte version. And of course, the new and iconic reformulated Fito Rouge Shine. We're gonna do a quick session where I talk about all four of these. Once more, these three already have dedicated videos. This one is brand new, so we're gonna go into detail a little bit more. And then we're gonna rank them in categories. I think today we have four or five even. To basically make it easier for you guys to find the perfect lipstick from Sizzle. You guys, if you're interested in this video, then what are you waiting for? You can stay tuned, you could give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, cause we're heading for the millions. At least in my head. But if you subscribe, we are heading for them every left too. And don't forget to ring a bell to get notified when I post new videos. Normally every Mondays and Fridays, always uploaded at 6 p.m. Central European time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. Before I even start off, I do want to clarify some baselines for this video that I will mention right now and not anymore as we continue on. Who writes sentences like that? All of these lipsticks are amazing. So if you want me to say that, oh my god, one of these sucks, you're on the wrong channel, honestly. Sweetheart, we love Sizzly, okay? We adore them. Bougie, they're luxury, but they do know what they're doing. They have amazing ingredients in all of their products. We're gonna talk about these later on. Basically, Sizzly is a brand that focuses on makeup, and how to make it skincare. Love it. That's their whole philosophy, and we stand that on this channel. They don't really vary in pricing, I will say that. Just to quickly clarify, you will see two different zebra optics throughout the video. Something that I was told at the Maison Sizzly in Munich is that the golden ones are traditionally catering more to makeup people, quote unquote, while the black and white ones are just straight up treatment. I just wanted to get this out of the way. If you are still down for this video, then let's just get started. We're gonna talk about my newest baby first. This one is in shade 15, beige Manhattan, which is kind of a cool toned rosy color. It has an ultra silky texture that envelops the lips in a fine smoothing contouring and hydrating film. Thanks to the so-called Hydro Booster Complex, composed out of hyaluronic acid and cognac glucomanes, probably did not pronounce it right, pardon me. With repeated application, the Le Futur Rouge preserves the youthfulness of the lips. A cocktail of enhancing oils provides nutrition, subtleness and elasticity. 24 radiant shades, most of them are neutral nudes. The unique lipstick shape allows a precise application with or without lip liner. Build able coverage and a luminous satin finish. Let's take a full look at the ingredient set. So the main ingredient is actual dimethicone, which is silicone, makes a lot of sense. We also have capric triglycerate, which we do like a lot. We have microcrystalline wax, which is a form of mineral oil. Talc is not the most common in lipsticks. It's most of the times used in powder formulas, but it's totally fine. You have camilla seed oil, which is also meant to be nourishing and provide softness to the skin. Oh, fancy! Seaweed. We had this before, I think, with the, like a sizzly eye mask, the mask contour des yeux. It's like a green eye mask, because we have a dedicated video on. Also had a high amount of seaweed in it, and I love seaweed. I do have issues with breakouts, but algae and seaweed do help with it. Fun fact, algae and seaweed are nor animals nor plants. They're 
seaweed. It's like a whole genus, fabulous. And they also can help with hyperpigmentation and brightening the skin over time. I think in this formulation, it will probably just help with the hydration levels of your lips. You have jojoba seed oil, which is my favorite oil ever. Maybe behind squalane. These two oils are amazing hydrators with a little bit of fragrance and some preservatives. Overall, I am very intrigued by this formula. This is, as mentioned, their classic lipstick. It's an essential, as they like to call it. If you're out here hunting for an amazing, prestigious luxury lipstick with I would say a matte to satin finish. It is not overly shiny, but it is definitely more on the matte-ish side. With a beautiful coverage, a beautiful shade range, a lipstick that not only makes you look and feel pretty, but also has amazing skincare properties in it. If you are just looking for that, stop this video and actually go to your nearest Sisley counter because it doesn't get better for you. you can say that I'm stunning, it's not a shame. This is their only traditional lipstick. Let's quickly talk about these two bad boys. The lip twists in both the shiny formula and the matte formula. We're gonna start off with the shiny one. There are some subtle differences. This is the best-selling Sizzly lipstick, at least that's what I was told. It combines color, lip care and shine in one single twist. It has a unique packaging, more like a crayon rather than a lipstick. You twist it out, no worries, you can put it back in. And they come in 17 different shades, most of them are a shade of red. Out of experience, this is a lip balm. And we're talking balm with a little bit of pigment. There's also micro glitter in it. The sheer shine lipstick is more glossy. These are more glittery. They are more on the waxy side in comparison to the other Sisley lipsticks that tend to be a more creamy and emollient formula. This one is kind of a quick fix. That's how I love to use it. If I have dry lips, but I still want to look fabulous, I apply it. This is also in the shade number one, which is the most nude shade. The key ingredient that Sisley promotes is actually phytosqualane, which we mentioned before. Squalane is a derivative from squalene, and this is something that can be produced naturally in our skin. You also have triglycerides in it, which are hydrating. As you probably can tell by the name, Phyto Lip Twist Matte. It caters to people who prefer a matte finish rather than a glossy one. Negotiator. This one comes only in six shades. Actually makes me feel that it's probably not one of their most successful products. But this one also, you know, combines the color, the lip care, and a matte finish in a single twist. When it comes to the ingredients, they also promote the phytosqualane. However, you want to be fair, it is actually way, way, way lower on ingredient set than in the shiny one, which also leads to the fact that this one is not as hydrating or moisturizing as the previously mentioned shiny version. You do have more pigment though, like this one definitely gives off more pigment, not as much as the Fito Rouge, the golden lipstick. Besides that, the ingredients stay pretty much the same and also in the same order. And now let's come to the newest addition to the Sizzly family, the Fito Lip Shine Lipsticks. It is a little longer and higher, but also more slender than this one, so there is a significant difference. You can definitely tell. She's got a point. Sisley calls this particular lipstick the lipstick of the future, a new generation of lipstick, because it has the color of a lipstick, the shine of a gloss, and the comfort of a balm. And I have to agree. You also have the Hydro Boost Complex that was previously mentioned in the Fito lipstick. So this is in all of their lipsticks. However, in this formula, all of these are slightly more higher on the ingredient set. So overall, I would call this the all-rounder. If you are into shiny finishes, which I personally am, you will love it. It has similar pigments to the Fito Rouge lipstick. It has a similar finish to the Lip Twist and feels just as emollient. So this was a short but needed introduction to all of the four Sizzly lipsticks. It is now time to rank them. The pigmentation. We're gonna rank them from highest to lowest. We're gonna start with the Fito Rouge 
lipstick. Once more, this is a traditional lipstick formula. It would be insane if this one would not be on top. Then I'm gonna have to go for the matte one. This could be a little tricky because I actually initially wanted to go for this one. However, I feel the matte one, because of the matte finish, just gives the illusion of having more coverage. And I just went with it. With the two more matte leaning formulas, I would recommend going in with a lip liner. Number three has to be the Fito Shine lipsticks. They do have pigment. Like, I have three of these. One in nude, which this one is, that sheer nude. I have one in a rosy kind of pink color and one in coral. And the coral really shocks me. That one packs a lot of pigment. The shine does help to diffuse it and make it a little more wearable. And the most natural or least pigmented one has to be the Fito Lip Twist in the shiny formula. I showed you the swatch. It's just pretty much a tinted lip balm. You can't really build it up. Next up, the Wear Comfort. Highest to lowest. I'm gonna have to call it tie because both of the shiny ones are pleasant on my lips. And you can really feel the hydration. It's, it sounds strange, I know. I sound like a little makeup nerd. But these two are so pleasant to wear. Spot number two, I have to give to the Le Fito Rouge lipstick. It's a classic lipstick that is definitely leaning more hydrating than all of its co-workers in my vanity. On last spot, I just have to put this one because it's the least hydrating, I feel. This one is not drying per se, but it is the one that I deem the most unpleasant to wear. It's not unpleasant, but in comparison to the other ones, it's just not as hydrating. Next up, something that is also part of the luxury experience is the design of the product. And the clear winner of the design is the Fito Rouge Shine Lipstick because this one is not only literally an adorable baby with the zebra print, not in black and gold, the way that Sisley tends to do it, but in white and gold. I just love it. It looks very bright. You have it in your purse and you're like, it makes me happy. It also is refillable, which is, in my personal opinion, such a big Pro, you basically can tell that this is a contemporary design that has been developed recently in comparison to all of the other ones that have been on the market for at least three years plus. Secondly, I do want to mention this one. I love it. It's the classic Sisley black gold design. I do love the actual lipstick product, you know, this unique kind of molded shape. I do dig it. It feels heavy, but not clumpy. It's thick. Like, it's a fake lipstick. I also love that both of these come with the, you know, felt little things here. I love them. I dig them. And these two definitely have a tie. It's the same design. I do like it. I think it's a very classy, understated design. I do have one issue, though. And my mother actually agrees with that. She uses this one. So her favorite is the... Feature lip twist in shade number one. FYI, the cap kind of goes off a little difficult. You can really push the product into the cap a little bit too much. And then you have to worry once you, you know, rip it off that you kind of damage the actual product. This only happens once the lipstick is brand new because then it has kind of this crayon tip. If you use it, it obviously roundens out like a traditional lip balm. But this is my only critique point. It's not too dramatic. It's also kind of a cute shape. I feel it's funny. I love applying this in public. You just twist it out and, you know, it's like a crayon, but it's, it's a fancy lipstick slash balm. When it comes to wear time, all of these wear pretty similarly well. It doesn't really matter if you go for the more shiny finishes or the more matte leaning ones. I will mention that the... Uh, Fito Shine Lip Twist is really sinking into your lips, just the way a good lip balm should do. So this one you have to reapply the most. The last critique point, the ingredients. She's the clear winner. She's the clear winner. And I'm gonna repeat it one last time. She is the clear winner. This one has similar ingredients, but just a little bit less of all of the good stuff. I'm still gonna give it second space. This one, it's basically a lip balm. There are some things such as 
a form of microplastic in it, which I personally don't mind. Ingredients like this give it a more makeup y feeling. So I just couldn't put it first place, obviously. And this one only takes the last spot because it's a traditional lipstick with amazing ingredients. Once more, we have this Hydro Complex that definitely does its magic. And if the competition in this category would not have been all of the other Sisley lipsticks, this one would have won, but it's just in comparison. This one is just a classic lipstick with some fancy oils in it. So it just can't win against this bad boy. If you are standing in the store and you're like, oh, well, I like that, but I also like that, and I even like that one. She combines all three of these in one product. So my personal favorite is this one. You guys, let me know what is your favorite Sizzly lipstick. What is your favorite lipstick in general? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and ring a bell. And do not forget to tune in for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye.